Hey, we're out here on beautiful Calcasieu Lake in Cameron Parish. It's a beautiful day. We've got we've got a, a great project going on out here today with the uh, construction and dedication of Big Jack's Reef, a reef we're building in honor of the late Jack Lawton Sr., a pioneer for CCA and a philanthropist and entrepreneur here in the area and well-known and well-beloved by, by just about everybody that knew him. So uh, it's a great project. We're building a five to six acre reef that will create great habitat for marine fish, uh, uh, and many marine organisms that'll that'll find their home here on this reef. It's a partnership between CCA's uh, CCA Louisiana, the Building Conservation Trust, uh, Shell, the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries, DLS Energy, Road Rock uh, Recycling, uh, Lote, uh, and several others who have made it possible for us to be out here today. Uh, the the material behind me will be placed across the open water here in a in a in a pattern that will uh, that'll uh, make it better for water flow for currents and, and of course make a better place for uh, for marine habitat in the area. This is an area of the lake that has lost a tremendous amount of habitat over the last several years. So uh, for CCA and our partners to be out here actually adding habitat to this area uh, is a real triumph for our members and a real testament to the people who support our work. We're here today for our deployment of our latest in our, our long-standing program of artificial reefs that we've constructed around the state. This will be reef number 20. We've spent $7.4 million putting these reefs down all the way from Slidell to here in Calcasieu. This is our attempt to replace some of what we're losing naturally. Due to coastal erosion, subsidence, and other natural factors, we're losing our hard bottom fisheries habitat. And we're replacing this with these durable materials, these artificial reefs that we're putting in. In this case, we're using concrete pilings and crushed concrete. In other cases, we use limestone and other durable materials to create that hard bottom habitat that starts the marine ecosystem. So we'll go out today and we will see the deployment of these concrete pilings. The next step will be deployment of the crushed concrete to layer on top of this. And we're expecting almost immediately to have an effect on the fisheries. We're going to change the bottom hydrology by the placement of these materials. We're going to construct it in such a way that the natural tide flow will create eddies and other current flows to have whole bait fish to attract our game fish and create that fishing destination. It's so important to our traditions, to our culture, and our economy in South Louisiana. So we're very happy to be here today in Calcasieu Lake with this latest CCA Louisiana Reef Project. We're very happy to be here with all of our partners. And I'm going to turn it over next to our Department of Wildlife and Fisheries, our technical partners, and also our funding partners in this project to give you a few more words. I'm very excited to be here today. Uh, we've started work on the, this artificial reef this past Saturday. Uh, it's been a, a great process and we're using some very unique materials thanks to uh, Mr. Rusty Vincent securing it from Lote. Uh, the concrete pylons are going to create this nice vertical relief and then once we add the crushed concrete on top of it, it'll really fill in the gaps. And we know that our artificial reefs that are uh, located in areas that are conducive to oyster growth are really the most successful and, and by ha adding that hard material substrate it's really going to take off and we've done some pre-deployment monitoring and we're really excited to to see what uh, starts growing and, and monitor the the results of this reef over time and we're, we're very confident that anglers that start fishing it will see a lot of success very quickly we are so very happy to be part of this project and then partner with our, our natural partner CCA Louisiana Louisiana is one of our largest states when it comes to our National Habitat Program and we're very proud to continue that partnership as we keep growing this program. That, as John mentioned, they've been very successful with, in the past, but we hope to catapult that and double our efforts here in marine habitat in the state of Louisiana. So thank you very much for having me and we're very proud to be part of it. We wouldn't be here today in any capacity without uh, the incredible conservation work of the Lawton family over many, many years through CCA, and today we're here honoring that uh, by dedicating this reef as Big Jack's Reef, which is in honor of Mr. Jack Lawton Sr., uh, who is a renowned businessman, a, a beloved philanthropist here in the Lake Charles area and across the state, and one of the founders of CCA in Louisiana. Uh, here representing the Lawton family is Big Jack's son, uh, Jack Lawton Jr., who'd like to say just a brief word. On behalf of the Lawton family, I'd like to thank everybody especially CCA, the local chapter, Lake Charles chapter. My father was always proud to help start it and to make sure we had the biggest banquet every year. And so on behalf of the Lawton family, thank everyone. I think it's fitting that this reef be named in honor of the Lawton family. 
The name Lawton is synonymous with conservation in Louisiana. Mr. Jack and his relationship with Walter Fondren in Texas was really the catalyst of CCA coming to Louisiana and Jack and his family have been heavily involved. Jack was the chairman of CCA prior to my taking over as chairman and, and has continued that uh, tradition. So it's a, lot of, it's a lot of pride that CCA is able to do this today to honor the Lawton family. I want to thank everybody for being here. As Bob said, it's a real honor to, to dedicate this reef to Big Jack and to the Lawton family. I want to thank again our incredible Lake Charles chapter. I, I believe uh, uh, Sean said it, Lake Charles CCA is not only one of the biggest and best in Louisiana, it's one of the biggest and best in the entire United States. We're so proud of the work they do, not only habitat-wise, but when it comes to our advocacy work and our, our youth work with, uh, with kids. So uh, we're proud to be here today. We thank everybody for their uh, for their attendance and we're looking forward to adding some new habitat to a to a place that's lost a lot of habitat in the, in the last several years. This is going to be a totally new area we're developing where there's no natural reef existing so we're going to create some some new habitat, some new angling destination and just have a, a great source here for the locals to go out of this boat launch. It'll be very close proximity here to Bear's launch on the eastern shore of Calcasieu Lake so we're looking forward to a great project and a, and a great future fishing destination for our anglers. This is important because across the Louisiana coast we're losing our hard bottom structure due to coastal erosion and up subsidence. Our natural oyster reefs and clam reefs, we're losing those. So to replace those we're using more durable material. In this case we're using concrete piling that were recycled from a construction job. To that we're going to add some crushed concrete to create a layer on top. And we're going to create that hard surface that the marine organisms can attach to. And that starts the food chain. It'll start to the marine flora, the, the, the plants and everything, and, and then the bait fish can harbor in there, and then the game fish come to feed on that. And we kind of start a little ecosystem there on this reef that couldn't exist on the soft mud bottom. You have to have that hard bottom structure to begin this, this life chain. I mean, oysters are, are the, the basis of the, the food chain. They're an important resource in the lake itself. And so once you, you start providing that, that hard material, which the juvenile oysters need to grow, um, you, you basically start the, the, the basis of the, the food chain. And so the oysters help to filter the water, but they also provide nooks and crannies for the little fish and the juveniles to hide. Um, but then you'll get a lot of other fish that circulate because anytime you disrupt the, the water column, you, you get the, the water flow altered and, and the way we're spacing these pilings out and the, the reef itself, it'll be spread out with gaps and, and uh, different uh, features that, that'll really improve uh, the, the circulation and take advantage of the tidal flow. The artificial reef program basically provides the seed money for these inshore reef projects and so we have great project partners like CCA and Shell uh, and DLS, the, the, the construction company that's doing the work and so by teaming up we're able to really expand the, the reach of the project and so the department's providing uh, just under half and so CCA and its partners provide over a one-to-one -one match and it really uh, enables us to have a, a great wide-reaching impact. The artificial reef program is always looking to enhance the, the reef potential of the state. And so a lot of our state water bottoms are primarily mud, which includes a lot of Calcasieu Lake. And so by adding hard substrate, it'll uh, facilitate getting encrusting organisms like oysters to start growing, and it provides some, some great habitat for fish and crustaceans. And so uh, anytime you put hard material down, it kind of supports the, the basis of the food chain, which in turn will attract the, the fish that anglers like to catch. Um, with this particular project, uh, we're using recycled concrete pilings from uh, one of the, the construction projects in Lake Charles. And so that's kind of serving as like the base layer and then we'll come back and top it with crushed materials. And so it'll, it'll provide a nice three-dimensional vertical relief and uh, lots, of, lots of hard substrate for oysters to grow. We're hired to build a, uh, uh, put a reef down using uh, piling, cutoff pilings. It's a new method they want to try to you know, en enhance the fishing and to hold the bait fish in. and uh, after we get the pilings put in, we got to go ahead and put the um, some more limestone down, or some actually some some uh, crushed rock, crushed concrete. Environmental part of it is um, actually make sure you put the material down that's clean, and uh, zero discharge on the boats and the barges, making sure that everything stays clean. But you know, all the material you put down is all clean, so that's a good part of it, you know. Um, and they're going to put probably 800 tons of pilings and another 900 tons of rock, and it's probably take about 15, 16 days to do the completion.
reefs deteriorate. You have oyster reefs, you have dredging, you have tonging, that, those reefs deteriorate. And it's very hard to replenish that. So you have to uh, do some things to put that base back into, into the lake so that the smaller fish and the crustaceans and all of that will have an opportunity to reproduce. And that's the bait fish for the speckled trout and the redfish that uh, everyone here enjoys to catch. So it's, it's vital that we do what we can. Most every reef that CCA is involved in all over the coast, and we've built a lot of them, really go back on a base that was there years ago, an old oyster bed or an old island or something where we can put rocks down and build that base back up. So really what we're doing is we're not really creating anything new. We're just replenishing what's been lost and deteriorated. Big Lake is a valuable resource to this area. Recreational fishing, uh, boat riding, crabbing, shrimping, everything. And the more we can do to enhance the resources, the better it is for the community. Uh, I mean, you look at this parking lot, it's full of boats. It's that way every day almost. Weather permitting, people are down fishing, enjoying Big Lake. So we want to build reefs and enhance the, the resources so people can continue to enjoy Big Lake. The Lawton family's name is synonymous with conservation. Uh, Mr. Jack, through his friendship with Walter Fondren, who was the founder of CCA in Texas, uh, really was instrumental in bringing CCA to Louisiana. And of course, Jack Jr. has uh, been state chairman. He preceded me before as chairman of the association. So their name is synonymous with uh, conservation and with this and with this area. So uh, it's really with a great deal of pride that our uh, association in conjunction with all our partners can can put this reef here in honor of that family. Obviously CCA Louisiana being our second largest state in the nation um, we do tons of habitat work here. We, we, we invest I guess from our own building conservation trust dollars we invest about a quarter million dollars a year in the state of Louisiana which when you compile that with all our natural partners could range to a million and a half to two million dollars in marine habitat. Continue your support with CCA. Um, you know, all of those grassroots dollars benefit habitat. We do have a major gift development program within the Building Conservation Trust to support these states. And as you can see behind me, uh, the Shell Oil Company is a huge supporter of ours here in Louisiana as well as Texas. But uh, yes, please support CCA. Please visit our, our website, ccalouisiana.org, and you can get the information not only on this web, on this project, but all of the other ones. This is our 20th reef project across the coast of Louisiana and we've put in more than 7.4 million dollars worth of material to build these habitats and we have several more on the drawing board for this year and into the future so we're looking forward to this ongoing program replacing our natural hard bottoms and saving our fisheries habitat and continuing our tradition of fishing in South Louisiana.